Star Wars. Hey guys, this is another little random review here. This is for Love, Death, and Robots. This is a little uh, anthology series that Netflix has released working with Tim Miller and David Fincher. And this is a great idea. You know how most anthology films, there's kind of going to be this Russian roulette with whether the stories are good or not. Uh, the ABCs of Death, VHS. There's a lot of movies that have... Uh, a fair amount of good stories or at least half of the stories are good and the others are either meh or garbage. Love, Death and Robots is by far the best ratio for really good stories. In fact, I would say there's only two of them that I really didn't like. Aside from that though, this is a vastly impressive, visually entertaining and very, very rewatchable series. It's probably because the longest story in this is 18 minutes. They're all very short stories, one of them being as short as six minutes. And you are engaged and there's so much story compacted into these tiny little stories that you wish that they would see them as films. However, I've made the argument several times over the years that sometimes a story is better suited as a short film than as a, as a feature length film because you have to put in padding if you don't have really the content to warrant a hour long film. Now if I were to talk about all of them in depth, I would be here for like 20 minutes. So I'm gonna first off give you my first five that are my favorite, Sony's Edge, which is fantastic. Uh, Suits, which was a great blend of like Telltale and Borderlands put together. Beyond the Aquila Rift is by far my favorite one. There's a lot of inspirations, including Alien and the Deep Horizon and all these other ones. If I say it, I'll spoil it, but it's there's a lot of inspirations you can tell and the visual style of that is just so good. Good Hunting, Good Hunting is actually a really, really good story, kind of taking that whole futuristic steampunk sort of idea. And then Shapeshifters. Shapeshifters is the coolest idea for me because it's the most realistic one in terms of going very little with the sci-fi element. It's literally the real world except with one little change in it and I like that aspect a lot. So those are definitely what I would say are the best ones for me. Uh, especially Sony's Edge is a fantastic opener. So now I'm gonna go through all the other ones. Three Robots is very funny. It's actually, it was almost one of my top five. It's very funny. Uh, the Witness, I hated this one. This one is pointless. I don't even really get what it's trying to be. I have an idea, but it's just, for me, it's just not very entertaining. Sucker of Souls, I like the art style of this one, and I actually did like it. It was in my running for a top, but uh, it didn't make it. When the Yogurt Took Over, when the Yogurt Took Over, it's funny, and it also has the voice of Brain from Pinky and the Brain, but it's just too short. It's just a little bit too short in my opinion. I like that it is short, but unfortunately it's a little too short. Uh, the Dump, the Dump is, this is kind of one of those eh ones, it's funny, but, and it has Nolan North in it too, but it's not really one of the standout ones. Helping Hand, Helping Hand is basically gravity, but in 10 minutes. Fish Night, Fish Night is another one, kind of like the Dump, visually, it is super cool. Story-wise, there's like nothing though, like the only sci-fi stuff happens in like the last, like two minutes. <laughs> Though aside from that, you would think this is just a anime short. Lucky 13. Lucky 13 is pretty cool. Apparently has one of the actresses from uh, Orange is the New Black. Visually, definitely one of the best ones, but does not take the full advantage of its supposed idea of a unlucky ship turning lucky because it has a sort of a sentient uh, ideal to it. Zima Blue. Zima Blue actually reminded me a bit of Batman Beyond in terms of its art style and the voice, I swear, the voice actor who plays Zima Blue has been in something that I recognize. Blind Spot is another Borderlands inspired one. It's very short. It's cool to watch, but it's not very memorable. Ice Age is the other really bad one because you've seen this story a billion times and there's nothing different about it. Absolutely nothing. Because freaking South Park made this joke like 10, 15 years ago with Cartman's weird fish mermaid people. Alternate histories, this is another one that's, it has a cool idea, but really it's just a joke. And then the secret war. Now, I like the secret war. It Honestly, I was going back and forth between the secret war and suits because they're both basically the same story, last stand sort of situations. 
the Secret War is very scary, but I feel it doesn't really give a, a solid ending, whereas Suits did. So that's why I went with Suits in the end. So anyways, those are my thoughts on the episodes of Love, Death, and Robots. I hope you guys do check it out. It is very rewatchable. I've watched it on my phone several times because of how cool it is, but definitely watch it on a high resolution television as well because these are some phenomenally made animations and I cannot wait until what they do next. I am honestly, this is one of my most anticipated Netflix projects for sure. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. You're probably wondering who I am. My name is Nitz and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. <sniffs> By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural, or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> to see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.